all of these which are age specific uh, pediatric dermatology is also what i have currently seen by going into a lot of dermato uh, dermatology conferences that people that people are really opting up for uh, micro niche like just taking care of the pediatric cases uh, though it is not like a, a very big thing these days matlab aisa nahi hai ki bahut log hi kar rahe hain but yes maybe i feel that in the coming years the way micro niche has become very popular this will also become quite popular so these are few of the fields which people can go into fellowships so this is available both in india and even outside for outside uh, some of the fellowships require test or some of them require a cv and some don't require anything it's about just paying and going so fellowships are mostly if they are not on the basis of test they are mostly paid so you need to pay some amount and the amount is not uh, less it is expensive i would say as compared to the other branches whatever i've seen i feel that the dermatology fellowships are comparatively quite expensive and they are available even internationally and in india and i feel they are a must if you want to upskill in to some of the micro niche like this then there's one more thing which people get into and that is called research so that you can do side by side also in some of them uh just directly go into it so you can start publishing your papers you can start writing papers you can start writing books you can uh, become an editor you can also uh, like write chapters in books so these are few things which people start doing uh, some of them do along with their own dermatology practice or jo bhi wo job kar rahe hain otherwise some also do it side by side which i just very recently got to know that people do have this much interest that they just go into research so these are few fields now let's talk about private practice which becomes the fourth point koi koi log hote hain jinhone ye sab kuch kar liya and now unko private practice mein ghusna ya fir directly after md they start with private practice and it is uh, very common in terms of dermatologists and a lot of people uh directly jump into private practice because in 3 years of md dermatology you get a lot of knowledge a lot of exposure especially in government colleges you actually have more than 400 qpd daily so if you're looking at 400 patients for 3 years imagine the amount of patients you have seen um, in those 3 years so it becomes very uh, you actually get a skill of looking at the opd on your own and at least you can treat the patients yes the diagnosis for dermatology is really difficult and no one can say that it is right or it is wrong because almost all the lesions look like just the same it is all about the treatment which helps you and it is not just about steroids for people who don't know there are a lot of other drugs which we people give which people don't know and we'll not be even mentioning because that makes us apart from the quacks okay so a private practice mein aagaya so what is the cost for setting up a private practice let's say if you want to do a clinical dermatology private practice then the setup doesn't involve a lot of money uh, obviously uh, the place where you do a setup or if it is yours it's fine if it is on rent to rent wala money ho gaya otherwise on the interiors itna kuch nahi hota you just need a table and chair and uh, just basic pen paper because it is just clinical dermatology and maybe a small examination room side by side jisme tum examine kar sako so it doesn't requires a lot of money i believe but if you want to go into aesthetic medicine or if you want to go into a hair transplant so for hair transplant you need to set up a proper ot then only you will be able to do hair transplant and, and if you go by the guidelines you should have a icu backup as well if you are doing a hair transplant and if you are setting up an aesthetic clinic it requires crores because for aesthetic clinic um, every machine uh, let's say the most basic machine which every aesthetic clinician dermatologist has is a laser hair reduction and that also starts from around 20 25 lakh if you are looking for a good one obviously you get cheaper options which are uh, from china or from korea which do not work as good as the ones which i am mentioning and this is one thing which i learned from my seniors and my guides that uh, invest once but invest in the best one do not invest into the 
बैड मशीन बिकॉज एक्चुअली में रिजल्ट बहुत फ़र्क आता है सो इफ़ यू गोइंग टू बी एल सी सी का एन ऑल हु डू लेजर यर रिडक्शन एट अ वेरी लेस अ प्राइज एज कम्पेयर टू द डोमटोलॉजिस्ट रीजन इज दिस बिकॉज द डोमटोलॉजिस्ट आर एक्चुअली यूजिंग द बेस्ट ऑफ मशीन विच रिजल्ट कैन बी शोन इन लेट से फाइव टू सिक्स सिटिक्स विच लेट से दीज एक्स वाई जेड शो रिजल्ट इन मे बी मोर देन टेन और नेवर देन नेवर एबल टू शो द रिजल्ट सो ये एक बहुत बड़ा रीजन होता है विच यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड कि मारुति और मर्सिडीज में क्या फ़र्क है इट्स अम बट लाइक दिस तो एक मशीन ही इतनी होती है एंड आई फील दो तीन मशीन एक एस्थेटिक क्लिनिक मतलब कॉस्मेटोलॉजी क्लिनिक को बोलने के लिए दो तीन मशीन तो रखनी ही पड़ेगी सो ऑन एन एवरेज ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द मशीन स्टार्ट ऑनवर्ड्स लाइक ट्वेंटी लैक ऑनवर्ड्स सो इफ यू सी इतना कॉस्ट आ जाता है एंड ऑब्वियसली फिर एस्थेटिक क्लिनिक बन रहा है तो वो बनेगा भी बेसिक इंटीरियर के साथ नहीं बनता यू काइंड ऑफ डू अब इवन इफ यू आर गोइंग बाई बेसिक तब भी थोड़ा उसको लिटिल बिट ब्यूटिफुल इंटीरियर्स करना ही पड़ता है आई एम नॉट सींग दैट लाइक गो ग्रैंड मेक अ फाइव स्टार और पोडिंग शैंडलियर्स बट इवन इफ यू आर डूइंग अ बेसिक दैन इट इज नॉट एज सिंपल एज अ क्लिनिकल डर्मोटोलॉजी चेंबर कि बस एक छोटा सा ये ये एक रूम हो गया एंड चेयर टेबल लग गई थोड़ा ब्यूटिफुल बनाना पड़ता है बिकॉज अगेन इट इज डर्मोटोलॉजी एंड इट रिक्वायर्स ग्लैमर एंड ब्यूटी सो दिस इज द कॉस्ट विच कम्स इन सो आई हैव इंटरेस्ट इन एस्थेटिक मेडिसिन and let's see where life takes in I think uh, people have a lot of interest but वो पता नहीं होता किस direction में पहुँच जाए so these are few things which one can do after completing MD dermatology if you think that I've missed on anything and if you are doing something very new which I don't know do let me know so that even I could upskill myself okay do not forget to subscribe to our channel and like subscribe share to every budding dermatologist or dermatologist who want to become one of them aspirants so that uh, they can also fall in love with this field because this field is amazing but it requires a lot of hustle so take care or subscribe karo it's all for free bye and next video is something which is very much research based and we'll be talking about a proper skin care routine evidence based so subscribe karo turn on the bell icon so that you don't miss the notifications bye